So now that we've looked at the exotic pulse rifles Red Death and Bad Juju, we're going to do a little comparison between the two. I think that Red Death and Bad Juju are basically exact opposites in terms of playstyles. Both generate very good uptime, but do it in different ways. Red Death keeps you active by keeping you alive, while Bad Juju keeps you active by making you into a non-stop murder machine. I personally value uptime and activity time very, very highly. Both of these weapons are very good for that. So let's talk about PvE first. Red Death is a high damage weapon versus Bad Juju's low damage. For high tier enemies, you're going to have a little bit of an easier time taking them down with something like Red Death as opposed to something like Bad Juju. Bad Juju does struggle a bit versus Majors, but you know, that's what special weapons are for. Red Death does do a little bit better in that regard. For low and mid tier enemies, you're going to maul through everything that you end up fighting regardless of what you use. Even when you're in the level 30 range, both weapons tear through everything. That being said, for solo PvE, so stuff like doing bounties and low end stuff where you can just kill things very quickly, I'm going to recommend the Bad Juju over Red Death by a little bit. Just being able to go non-stop, non-stop shooting, and never having any downtime, as little as it might be, I think is great. Not to mention being able to rapidly charge your super for any bigger enemies that might get in the way that the Bad Juju can't handle that well. However, both weapons are seriously really good with regards to their PvE uptime in solo content, they just do it in different ways. For group content, I'm going to recommend Red Death a little bit more, simply because Bad Juju needs killing blows to be useful. Bad Juju becomes less effective as more and more people join your group, and I don't think Bad Juju holds up very well on its own. You use the gun strictly because it has String of Curses. If you're not landing killing blows, then you're not using Bad Juju as efficiently as you possibly can. Every time you have to reload just slows you down, and you're supposed to be a killing machine with this thing. However, it's not to say that in group play you're never going to get any kills, because you will. But the more people you have in your party, the less opportunity you have for those killing blows. These are still pretty nitpicky things that I'm reaching for though. You're still going to maul things regardless of the weapon you use. And if you like one weapon over the other, you should use the weapon that you like. As opposed to what I think is the slightly better weapon for each piece of content. For PvP, the weapons could not be more different. Red Death plays very well in a reserved playstyle due to rate of fire, while Bad Juju I think should be used a little more aggressively. However, you can still use Red Death aggressively because of its bonus of regenerating health, allowing you to stay in the action for very long periods of time. Red Death's fastest time to kill time is a little bit faster than Bad Juju's fastest time to kill time. However, missing with Red Death has a much bigger penalty versus something like Bad Juju because of Red Death's rate of fire. Red Death really rewards accurate headshots because of its potential to kill in two bursts and really hurts you when you miss, more than other guns. Bad Juju can really put a hurting on as well though and works really well as an aggressive weapon, almost like a submachine gun. I highly recommend using it as an auto rifle as opposed to Red Death's scout rifle-esque reserved playstyle because of its slightly bigger recoil and reduced damage. Bad Juju's main upgrade can help in 2v1 situations, but it's not as good as it is in PvE for obvious reasons, and I definitely don't think it is as valuable. For PvP, I like Red Death better than Bad Juju, and I think it has more potential. The bonuses are perfect for PvP, unflinching keeps you on track, and healing after every kill and fast reloads is crazy good for staying active on the field. It has faster time to kill, and it can be played passively or slightly more aggressively. My favorite thing about Red Death is that it's a pretty decent counter to Thorn's damage over time. I know I die to Thorn's damage over time a lot, and it's usually on the last tick of damage when it happens. However, if you land a kill with Red Death, you can usually regen just enough health that will save you from dying. You're not going to regen all of your health, but you'll stay alive, and that's what's important. This isn't to say that Bad Juju is bad in PvP, because it's definitely way better than it used to be. I just think Red Death is better suited for the Crucible overall if we're looking at all the maps and all the game modes. As for the new tier list rankings, I think Red Death moves up to at least an A in PvE, and if people wanted to make arguments for S tier in PvP, I would be willing to hear them because in the right hands, it can absolutely destroy people in PvP. I think it's definitely an A plus for PvP, that slight bump in damage bringing it to a two burst kill really bumped it up the list. 
I previously put it at a B plus, and I think I was undervaluing it. After playing with it a lot before it got buffed, I thought it was pretty solid, but this was after I had given it a rating. For Bad Juju, I think it's much more of a solid A tier weapon now, as opposed to just sneaking in, possibly an A plus if you wanted to make an argument for it. This is an overall rating though, obviously performs much better in solo content than in group content, and if you're an Obsidian Mind Warlock, then it performs even better. I just don't think it does enough to the upper tier enemies to bring it into an A plus or an S tier. It doesn't stand well enough on its own. It needs that bonus. PvP wise, I definitely bring it into the B plus list of weapons as it used to be a B, but if A wanted to be argued, I'd hear those arguments as well. I definitely undervalue weapons as opposed to overvaluing them. If you're wondering why I end up giving lower ratings as opposed to higher ones, just me being me, I guess. Anyway guys, that is my comparison of Red Death versus Bad Juju. Both weapons are definitely much better than they used to be. Bad Juju is definitely worth attempting to get from the exotic bounty if you don't have a lot of weapons yet. Very, very good starter exotic. And I hope you bought Red Death while Zur was here. I know I recommended it. That'll do it for me though. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.